Hello, I'm Alistair Charlton, technology reporter for the International Business Times UK, and today I'm going to be looking at this, the BlackBerry Z10, which is the first smartphone to be using BlackBerry's new BlackBerry 10 operating system. Now, there's a lot to say about BlackBerry 10, and we'll be covering it in more detail in another video. So for now, I'm going to be looking at just the BlackBerry 10 phone itself. The first thing you notice about the BlackBerry Z10 is that it looks quite a lot like the iPhone 5. The general shape, the fact that it's available in black or white, and also these uh, black plastic strips at the top and bottom of the screen. They reminded me straight away of the back of an iPhone 5. The design of the phone is um, quite memorable, um, not so much as the uh, bright and bold Lumia series from Nokia, but uh, BlackBerry's done, done a good job. Uh, it's, uh, it's a memorable phone and it feels like a real premium product. At just under 140 grams, uh, it's about 30 grams heavier than the iPhone 5 and it's um, almost as slim, makes it a real small uh, pocketable device. The front is dominated by a 4.2-inch uh, display with a resolution of 1280 by 768 and a pixel density of 355 per inch. That's higher than the iPhone 5 and it's higher than the Nokia Lumia 920 as well. It's a really great screen, very, very sharp. Um, colours are excellent and blacks are very, very dark. Um, a small issue I had with the screen was if you compare it to another phone, such as an iPhone, you notice that the BlackBerry has a slight yellow tinge to it. Um, it's not something you'd notice in isolation, but if you do compare two phones next to each other, you will notice that. It's also not quite as bright as some other phones, but again, that's not a deal breaker. Above the screen, there is a two megapixel front-facing camera that can also record video at 720p high definition. Next to that, there's a notification light for incoming email, text, and missed calls. That camera is joined by a 8 megapixel camera on the back, which has autofocus, uh, an LED flash, and can record in full 1080p HD. Uh, on the right-hand side of the device, there is a uh, volume rocker and a play-pause button in between the two. Uh, and on the top, there's a power button uh, alongside the headphone jack. On the left-hand side, there's a micro USB port for charging and syncing, uh, alongside a micro HDMI port, which means you could hook it up to a HD projector or a television to play content that you've downloaded from BlackBerry World. The back cover has sort of a, a rubberized texture to it uh, and it is removable so you can get to the battery as well as the micro uh, SIM card slot and also a micro SD card slot. Um, the SD card slot is really useful given that there's only 16 gigs of internal storage and that slot will take cards of up to 32 gigs. On the bottom edge of the device there is a uh, loudspeaker and it, it's fine that they've located it there but I've noticed that the, uh, the rear cover doesn't quite sit as flush as you'd expect it to. And there is a little bit of give there when you apply pressure to it. It's not the end of the world, but um, once you notice there's a small defect there, you, um, your attention is drawn to it, which is a bit annoying. Uh, otherwise, the design of the BlackBerry uh, Z10 uh, is very good. It's, it feels like a premium phone. Um, it's, it feels well made. The, um, the plastic edge uh, is all one piece and it joins the plastic strips at the top and bottom of the screen. Um, so I guess you could call it a unibody design in that respect. Uh, the BlackBerry Z10 is powered by a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor and that's got two gigabytes of RAM with it. As you'd expect from a 480 pound smartphone, there's the usual range of features on the inside. So you've got Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth 4.0. You've also got uh, NFC for um, touch payments and for exchanging small pieces of information like contact details from one phone to another. The Z10 also has 4G, and what BlackBerry has done is it has included um, compatibility with a number of different uh, bands of 4G. What that means is that it will work on EE's network for now in the UK, but it will also work with networks from Vodafone, O2, 3, and others when they come online later in the year. We're expecting a lot from the BlackBerry Z10, and initially I think they've de delivered a good product with an operating system that takes a little bit of getting used to, but as you'll see in our second video, uh, there are some neat gestures and some features that uh, help to set it apart from the competition. Uh, so overall, BlackBerry's done a good job with the Z10, and um, it's a, a worthy rival for the uh, third place on the smartphone uh, podium. We'll have a written review on the website soon, along with another video looking at the BlackBerry 10 operating system. I'm Alistair Charlton for the International Business Times UK.